Some promising news for prostate cancer patients. Researchers say they have uncovered a better way to detect this potentially deadly disease. Dr. Samadhi, you're up on this one. So what is this way that you're well, talking about? Well, this is really the MRI guided biopsy. So what, uh, and, and it's a great step forward in this field of prostate cancer. Normally, the, di the indication to get a biopsy is either your PSA level, a blood test is high, or you may have some abnormality on the exam on your prostate. One or and or would be an indication to go and get a biopsy, a sample of the prostate to find out if you have cancer or not. The way we always did it was something called random biopsy using our ultrasound machine. So I, as a urologist, would put a probe near the prostate, would look at the prostate and would take like 12 or 14 samples to find out if there's any cancer. But the key word was always random. Mm -hmm. So we kind of like didn't know exactly where we were going. Now the new way of doing this biopsy is called MRI guided. So we're taking the picture and MRI of the prostate and fuse them with our ultrasound pictures and find out where are the hot spots and just target it the diagnostic tools to go over the areas where it looks suspicious rather than just randomly start shooting. And we're finding out more aggressive cancers. Those are the ones that need to be treated as opposed to some low risk ones. So it helps us in that. And it's really a great way to distinguish who should get biopsy, who should not get biopsy and on and on. So it's really a great help for us. But now the biopsy, you take a clip of the tissue, right? So how, how do you go in there and get it? Well, usually I do the biopsies and we have one of the latest model, Euronav in New York City. This is like the MRI where we basically, I give lidocaine around the prostate. Yeah. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Fairly simple. I know it may sound awkward, but it's easy to do. And the risk of infection is really about 2%, 2 to 3%. So it's, it's fairly benign Mark, process. When you go to the doctor and they, and they give you that exam. I mean, that's really important too, isn't it? You know, I think it's really important. And I actually, when I review every time we do something regarding a urological topic and I review some of this, I can't believe the numbers. And I can't believe th that there's even a debate here because 27,500 men die of prostate cancer every year. It is the number two cause of death from cancer in men after lung cancer. Well, everyone knows you want to catch lung cancer early. And I think you need to catch prostate cancer early. How do I do that as an internist? You mentioned one, Eric, that a lot of internists have gotten away from. You got to do that digital rectal exam and feel for some abnormal ridge or nodule on the underside of the prostate, which we get to feel about 30% of the prostate. Mm -hmm. If I feel something abnormal, I send the patient to David or some great urologist like David. Also the PSA. I don't knee jerk the PSA and, and do a biopsy necessarily, but I follow a trend. If there's an abnormal trend and I can't figure out something else, send the patient to a urologist and consider a biopsy. MRIs are getting more and more sophisticated, as he just said. The more accurate they are, the more they help guiding you know, biopsies.